What's good, everybody? This is Jay Means from the Have Not Family uh, coming to you on this beautiful Sunday morning. I'm so excited to talk to you today. Um, today, I just kind of want to talk about religion. I kind of want to talk about how that takes away from us as human beings. Because the truth of the matter is, us as human beings, we are connected. We are powerful. Our, our minds and capacity to think and problem solve and create is unimaginable. We still haven't even came close to reaching our full human potential. Now the problem is we have all these things in front of our faces keeping us from reaching that full potential. They keep us locked into a mind state of I, of superior race. Um, they keep us in this mind state of inaction. Um, and the reason I want to talk about this today, uh, I did some recent research. Somebody asked me to do some research about uh, Area 51, um, and I stumbled across a man named William Cooper. Um, just a quick, you know, saying backdrop on uh, William Cooper. Uh, William Cooper was a naval intelligence officer. Uh, he believed that he witnessed a UFO uh, coming out of the coming out of the water and shooting off like a rocket. So through this, he went on this whole brigade of trying to unlock Area 51, trying to figure out what was going on with Area 51. And through that, uh, he taught that, you know, saying aliens, the whole thing with aliens and crop circles is a hoax, hoax that uh, we're actually behind our technology. The public is behind technology 50 to 100 years compared to what our government has actually come up with. And uh, he put out certain documents called The Secret Government. Um, this is one of the things that kept him alive for a good long time. Um, he, he had a radio show called The Time of the Hour, um, which you can go listen to that. You can Google it. Uh, you can YouTube it. And he also talked about the religions of the people that run our nation, so the people that run our government. Um, that's just a small little backdrop on William Cooper. Um, through that, I also found a, a video of the JFK assassination where I actually saw... Well, I saw with my eyes uh, the driver, William Greer, actually shoot and kill uh, JFK or give the final kill shot. So all of this is, has me, you know, saying buzzing in my mind and just trying to figure out what is really worth sharing with you um, people. It's sharing with you my people, you know what I'm saying, my family, because I, I definitely see all the family and I, and I don't believe that we have to sit here in such an action. Um... What I want to talk about is because we are so distracted by these new age movements, um, the conscious movements, the, uh, the enlightenment movements, um, and still the old dogmas of religion. And the fact that we promote a state of, of joy, of inner joy, of inner peace, but we never exercise that for the good of mankind. And I'm not saying that I don't believe in a, a consciousness. I'm not saying I don't believe in a, a state of enlightenment or, or Buddha or the Buddha. Um, or that I don't believe necessarily in the Bible. Because I, I, I believe in a lot of things in the Bible. I also see where man has tempered with the Bible. And um, if you look at the Nicene Council, um, go back into your history on the Nicene Council where it's actually documented uh, in history where they actually chose what books would be in the Bible and what books would not be out of the Bible. And they also... Uh, prove where you know saying all the way up to the king james verse where certain scribes were putting certain things into the bible that they know wasn't supposed to be in there they weren't translating uh completely correct um and all all this to say that we cannot be distracted uh i, I know a lot of my friends a lot of my family um are moving towards the conscious movement and i have a lot of respect for them i'm not knocking them so don't 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 take this out of context. I'm not knocking them because they see the true excess of what the consciousness movie is, and they are putting forth a fight for change in this world. Whether that be uh, non-GMO food, um, whether it be enlightened spirituality, the awakening of the inner person, uh, retrieving all that ancient knowledge that supposedly we have in our DNA, and I respect them. What I do not like, I do not like people using the conscious moves as a way of inaction. That is, as long as I have my joy and inner peace over here, I don't have to worry about the rest of the world. And we're you know, saying different religions say, okay, well, you know, saying worry about going to heaven, worry about getting your family to heaven, uh, make sure you pay your tithes to the church, but don't don't try to get any justice for your government flooding your streets with uh, drugs and dope. Uh, 
don't 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 pay any attention to the to the wars that have been going on to the genocide mass genocide that's going on all over the world that's going on in Palestine right now at the hands of the Israelis who are sitting on 75 percent of the land that was promised to them by the Britain who did not have any rights to their land at all and these are all things that are used as distractions of Christianity because we believe that those are the chosen people or that we are a part of that chosen people so we you know saying I'll oh, protect Israel protect Israel but when we really get to look at the meat of these problems when we really get to look at the heart of what's going on we realize that we really have not stood up and asked for any real justice we haven't stood up and asked for any real justice that we've been so locked into ourselves and the ego promotion and why i say ego promotion because anytime that i could be more worried about the better the benefit of myself and my family and my lifestyle and if i follow something that is promoting that through consciousness through being awakened through a, a specific type of religion then at that point, I'm not asking for any justice for my fellow brethren, for my family of humankind. I'm not asking for that justice. So you can't be distracted. You can't get locked into this mindset to where you've reached uh, enlightenment or that you're conscious. And so since you're conscious, you're above, you know, saying normal street people or normal people that you see every day. Or that since you're saved and that you know that you're going to heaven and you're right with your guys, you're not worried about what happens in the rest of the world. You're going to leave that in God's hands. No, we are God's hands. We are the tools used to fix this world for a better tomorrow. I, I'm tired of seeing people of every religion, every, you know, saying following new age, old age, uh, uh, esoteric, whatever it may be. I'm tired of seeing people claiming to have some profound enlightenment, some profound consciousness or the, 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 the key to heaven. And yet not at any point in time do they stand up and fight for all of humanity. So, with with this, people, please do not be distracted by any New Age movement. Don't be dis don't allow religion to keep distracting you, because religion perpetuates hatred. It perpetuated racism. It perpetuated imperialism. And at the same time, while you're not letting these things distract you, understand that there is a thing called wisdom. There is a thing called truth. I I, I do believe in God. I do believe in the essence of all mankind. And I believe that our purpose as human beings is to protect that essence, um, whether that be Mother Earth or whether that just be life itself, is to protect that essence. And until whatever religion we follow, however conscious we think we may be or how light we are, until that becomes what we fight for, until that becomes what we die for, until that becomes what we unite for, we will keep perpetuating this vicious cycle of hate, war, and corruption. And I know that we are stronger than that. I know that we can reach great heights, that we can reach our full potential as human beings, but it takes all of us. And we can't allow our own personal views, our own personal goals, our own personal agendas, and our own ego to keep us locked in this position. Let's rise to the occasion. Let's rise to the pedestal. Let's go ahead and move forward. Let's move forward. Let's see how far, if you believe in evolution, let's see how far we can evolve. Let's see how far our minds can grow where we're not focused on technology, where we're not focused on self, where we're not focused on capitalism, on capitalizing, on making our pockets fatter. But when we are all moved and perpetuated to fight for the lives of all human beings and all life on this earth while we live here today, every day, we have to make the choice to get up and figure out what we are going to live for. With every moment, whatever decision, you have to decide what you are willing to live for. And through that, what you are willing to die for. Don't let your fear keep you. Don't let it grip you. Don't let your fear of something that is inevitable, like death, keep you from fighting for real change in this world, in this life that we can see today. I love y'all. Peace be with y'all. Uh, amen. Hallelujah. Um, you Namaste, whatever it may be that you, you know, say your, your word of agreement. I'm in agreement with you this morning. Y'all have a beautiful Sunday. Have my family.